Hello guys, it's Stormy, and this is a Wizard 101 Level 120 Gear Guide for a Fire Wizard or Pyromancer, if you will. And let's hop right into this, showing the stats, and then we'll go through piece of gear, piece by piece, and if there's anything I would personally change if I spent the time to do it. Which is not likely, because I've spent too much time. I'm at 117 damage, and I'm going to show you, and I'm going to mouse over each thing, so you can see that I'm not using a elixir from the clown shop to boost my stats in any way whatsoever. So this is my damage at 117, my resist is 32, with um, a total of 37 on resist point jewels. That's just like points off of the damage you take. So let's say someone hits me with 100, 100 hit, only 37 points will go off, not counting my 32 resist. That's what these bottom numbers mean. 30 accuracy, 100% critical, that's what I'm most proud of, and that's why I have no block. In this game, you kind of go either for block or critical, and I choose critical because I like to hit, I like to support. Critical block doesn't take enough damage off, in my opinion. This is my armor pierce. No stun resistance unless 0% means like 0 .11111 or something. 22 in incoming, 9% outgoing. Pip chance is 85. Pip conversion is uh, not, a, not even showing up because I think it's pretty useless because you either trade in critical or critical block for very little pip, ch pip conversion, it's not worth it in my book. I'd rather just deal with losing a pip or two. 8% um, shadow pip. I just hit the microphone. That would be a my bad. And then this is my health. 3,000 base. Boosted up to 600 in 6,113. Let's go with my English is very well today. And mana, that's not really important. If you run out of mana, that's kind of your own fault. It's very difficult to. Let's go ahead and start off with the hat. Time Warden, Cavlock of Pyres. You get this from the Cyclops dude in the Sands of Times before you go and fight Old Cop. It's with Shadow Bones and Shadow Walk. I honestly don't remember the guy's name, but he's the myth one with the giant hammer. Okay, that's where you get my hat, and this is stitched to the final exam um, hair from the crown shop, which I think I bought for 100 crowns or 150. One or two. Robes of Malastare are, you get this from Malastare, the Undying in Darkmoor, which is actually over yonder. And this is from the third part. I use this over the Bone Masher for the accuracy and 1% more pip chance. I know I lose one damage and one resist, but my personal opinion, the extra one pip chance and the extra accuracy is worth losing one damage and one resist. Boots, Time Warden, Galish of Pyres. I used to use the Shimmering Majora's Foot Gear, but I chose this for the accuracy, even though I lose 6 pip chance. But because I chose the accuracy, I was able to take my accuracy jewel off the triangle slot on this Athane, which gave me 10% pip chance, which, as you see, I lose 6. Now I'm gaining 4, four more than I already had. Let's ignore them this click. The one I'm using is the Jack Hollows Blues, which you get from the Halloween exclusive pack, the Jack Hollows pack. Jack Hallow's pack. Can I even say words right today? This is going to go bad. Oh my god. Okay. My amulet is the Morganth Dark Charm that you get from Morganth in Chrysalis, Coralysis, however you want to say it. I don't really care. It's the bug world. You get this from Morganth. It's not the easiest drop to get at all. It's kind of awful to get. And I can't even begin to say this name, so I'm going to go with Tetris because I like the game. Ringlet of Scalding. You get this also from Mr. Myth Dude. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to say, you get this from Myth Dude too. <laughs> My bad. The pet I'm using is Sir Chester. He's a Mega Sun Serpent with a 6% um, Fire Giver Jewel. If you want to see his stats and like what each item is, I'll quickly scroll up. Well, that's a glitch if I've ever seen one. Ooh, wow. Go me go. Okay. So, I seem to be having a little bit of an issue. Hmm. All right then. These are his stats: 230, 225, 244, 230, and 240. I have actually 10 proof on this pet, as you can see from here. Oh, it fixed itself. Wonderful. And if you want 10%, the best way I've ever figured out, I think it's the number is 214. You have to be at with strength, agility, and power. You add those together, and I think it has to be 714. Though it might be 710. I don't remember. It's one of the two. 
I'm, I'm sure you could figure it out. Or maybe I'll even add these numbers and do it. Probably not. That's a lot of work. Okay, the amount I use is a charity follow la la llama. Got in a charity event, I think, like four years ago. It was a special exclusive. You cannot get it anymore unless they maybe bring it back for a throwback, but I highly doubt it. Then I'm using the Liflums, Liflams, however you want to say it, Blazing Array. You get this from Omen in the Frozen Tier Lake, whatever. Oh gosh, I'm doing so great with like, the pronunciation and names today. It's so bad. Anyway, I have a 10% um, pip chance on this, and that's why I chose this deck for the Triangle Jewel. Now, um, why would I go back here? I don't need to go back here. That's stupid. Okay, so this is Mr. Llama, and I'll show you how my gear looks without the mount, and then I'll show you what each piece is, because I honestly don't remember the name of the wand. So this is what I look like otherwise. I got my afro -y Sun Serpent, and now let's quickly just show you what each kind of piece of gear is. I do not English well. Final exam, as I told you, this is the Dark Wraiths gear that you get from the Halloween pack, the first one, the Nightmares Horde pack. Same for these boots. And I'm not even going to try to pronounce this word. Kill Apparently I did try, but that's what it is. And I like it because it's pretty. Now, if you wanted to scrounge out three more damage to make it look pretty at 120, if you bought the Gulchers Horde pack and tried to get the Fire Mount, this would work because you get three more which is 120, which looks really nice, but I don't want to spend the crowns for it, and that's not even the biggest reason, is I love my llama too much. Come on, he's a stating llama. What else could you want? And look, he jumped so high. But anyway, that's the end of this video. Tell me what you think I should change, what you think I should add for my next one, and if there, what do you think the best gear is? Do you think I'm right in critical, or do you not? And I should mention, the reason I choose critical is I don't play a lot of PvP, but this is the best example I can give. Because this works for regular bosses too. You could have 150 damage. You hit me, maybe you'll do three to 4,000. Maybe. I critical on you, I will kill you. <laughs> Especially if you don't block. That's why I choose critical, and that's my reasoning behind it. And plus, critical is just so much fun. <laughs> Alright, well that's the end of this. Thank you for watching. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and all the usual stuff that you've probably seen throughout the video. Bye guys!